International Special Operations Forces, or ISOF, are often dubbed the quiet professionals and are generally out of the public eye. But this week in Tampa, Florida, 14 different countries publicly demonstrated a network approach of interagency, allies, and partners. Well, it's a reminder of just how advanced the interoperability and the integration and interdependence are, not only with our conventional forces, but particularly with the international forces. Uh, this is very tactical. A lot of the exercises we do at SOCOM are more at the operational or strategic level. So this was a lot of fun to kind of return to the fun days, and at least for a moment think tactically and get everybody integrated. The ISOF demonstration allowed the rare opportunity for the public to witness their elite warriors in action. The mock operation was very complex and involved things like hostage rescue, sea combat, air insertion and ground assault both mechanized and on foot. I think the really interesting part is what a treat for Tampa. I presume this was exciting for a lot of people that don't typically get exposed to uh, the risky stuff we ask our men and women in special operations to do on a daily basis. I think it, if it's possible, maybe it elevates a little more appreciation for an already incredibly patriotic city. Reporting from U.S. SOCOM Public Affairs, I'm Army Sergeant Jeremiah Richardson.